Hello. Hi. Visibility weather. The guy with big orange hands. Yeah, today we have something completely different at hand, namely... Yes, was that Crossman or Daisy? It was Gamo, exactly. M-O-G. I just hesitated briefly, because I actually already entered it in the tablet. Somehow Daisy there... Oh no, it must be Crossman. No, look at it, Gamo. I fear this will happen to me more often. Today there is a scope on it. Why is there a scope on it? Because I haven't had a reason to take it off yet. And I have noticed that one of my large scopes has big problems with the scope rail here. It might not be exactly 11 millimeters, which means the mount had a problem gripping it at all. 2001, I thought to myself, it's not that bad. It's an old shotgun, so why shouldn't there be an old scope on it like they used to have? Well, let's get to the topic. So, we have a 4N repeater here. I received this thing, how should I put it, in a package, for example, the Gamo 68 was included. I received it as defective. And after a little care, I found out, oops, it works. Yes, and since then, it has been a lot of fun for me because it is silly but fun little device. Yes, I will first start by reading the whole thing. And as is common with these shotguns from that time, there are a multitude of markings on it. Gamo G1200. Ah, now it gets difficult again. So, slanted side lighting. One should be an F mark. Caliber designation 2001. Ammo. Oh my goodness. Yes, the casting is made in Spain. That should be written on it. Carbine. Calgara? Whatever that may mean. Something cool? Or gun? Kader? No? Kader? I can't read it. I'll hold it up for you. Maybe it will show better on the camera because you get a bit of light from the side. Yes, maybe you can read it with backlight. Always as close as possible. I know the camera can't focus infinitely sharp. So you see, it's there, it's raised, but it's very unclear cast. And then, if you hold a flashlight at an angle, it works. But if you get the film light, the shadow-free film light from all sides, then it gets bad. That was it. I don't think there's anything written on top. Yes, the specialty of writing a lot is more of a Crossman and Daisy thing, so the Americans. Then we have here. Presumably Spanish serial number. Here we have 177. Caliber 4.5 meter, flathead, Diabolo, and F mark. So, double the better. Why this plastic thing can just be removed like that? So an F mark on such a part? I'm not sure the legislator likes that. This way it stands significantly better, but still inaccurately. Carabina? Cargara? Coctan? Carabina? O carabine? Army? French or army? Army? With double E and accentuated safety, fire and safely wipe up. Thank you. Yes, that's it then. There wasn't much written on it. This is an interesting device overall, but I will get back to it later. Why am I constantly sneezing anyway? It's not that cold? 21 degrees? All good. The screws are definitely not all original, I would say. At least not the ones that are embedded in the wood down here. The wood still looks very good for its quite considerable age group. So here it is. For example, there is a scratch. Yes, that will be later when I sell it further. No, I always have to. Exactly, there is a really nice scratch in it. But otherwise, these thousand dents that you usually find on old devices are actually not present here. Very nicely grained. Dark wood. A really nice thick bull barrel, I wanted to say. Yes. We also have a butt cap. On which nothing is written. A vertical end? This means that you can attach extensions if you want. So you can place something in between. Overall, it looks very similar to what Crossman and Diana delivered in 2001. Here, nothing wobbles. Only the front grip wobbles, as it should, since it doesn't need moving. 
Yes, we'll get to that shortly, don't worry. Metal, yes, all cast. I assume it's zinc die cast alloy. The trigger guard is made of die cast. Two part, so you can see the seam in the middle. And we have here a, I would say, is this plastic? I believe it's a plastic trigger, which seems to be relatively robustly made. 2001. Yes, metal. We have here rear sight and front sight that fits reasonably well. I can't see properly through it right now because I have a scope on it, but it is adjustable. Yes, it's a click. It's a very light click, not too clicky. Yes, here it is. It works very well in terms of side and height. Adjustable in clicks, made entirely of metal as far as I can tell. No plastic. Those were the days. Then we have here one gram. That is probably very much made of plastic, I would say. A post front sight, even though it is elongated, with a grooved ramp. Then I'll hold this under your nose again. You already know the game. If there weren't a camera, I wouldn't do this. Because if you point a gun at people from the wrong end, it can to bad feelings. Yes, wait a moment. I'll just put the last book of my brother lying around here in front of the camera for no particular reason. Yes, there are already several of them, in all sorts of colors. This way they can be easily distinguished. I'll put it here for now. I always enjoy reading them. He says the next one is already in the works and is about to be completed. Looking forward to it. Why do I find this so great now? Well, first of all, it's a pump gun, which there are thousands of... But most pumps have a drum magazine, and we don't have that here. That means it's technically solved completely differently. That's why I'm going to take off my big orange hands now. It's going to get tricky. And specifically, we have a slider here to be push back and hook in at the back. I can show it. You don't see this kind of thing too often these days. You can tell I've been outside too much today. So here is a tube magazine. Wouldn't call it that, but the technology is the same. At the back, the spring is tensioned. Flip it down, it hooks in. Now there are several options. Either you hook this out and place a whole row of Diablo pellets in here, specifically 12 in total. However, it's not that easy because fitting the pellets into this groove is much more difficult than one would think. Somehow it seems like the pellets always have an interest in not falling into this groove. And if they do, then they do so upside down and all. And I have indeed made the observation that ultimately it is actually a bit easier with this plastic cover, even if it is really not super easy. And you load it, you basically place a pellet. I think you basically can't see the opening at all. Now maybe, yes, this opening here. You see an opening 2001. I let a pellet drop in head first, and it lies in there carefully and gently. You probably can't see it either, but I don't care. And then you hold the barrel down, then it flops forward. And in this way, you can actually load the good piece in a somewhat exemplary manner, because you can do it like this. I have a table now, but if you were outside, I would just hold it like this. Insert the pellet, let the 2001 drop in, and it slides forward by itself. You can already see that loading takes time. So drum magazines, now it's in the wrong way. Great. Drum magazines do have their advantages. Well, wait. That's what I meant somehow. They're always in the wrong way. I don't know exactly how they do it, but it works. Yes, and right away I put it in, and it's back in the wrong way. That's part of these, how should I say, there are amulets, amulets against such things. That's the evil eye for air rifles or something. But, and after a certain time of leisure and reflection, you actually have put 12 pellets in here. Yes, and one more and one more. The more we have here, as you can see, the bullet catch is also good. Yes, we don't have to take them all out again right away in a funny way. I think one more, no. One more can go in, one more can fit. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. 
Ten, eleven, actually twelve thousand. Yes, with what some people fill the airtime. So, in there, lid closed, it stays here on the side. I will now release this locking mechanism, and snap, it pressurizes the Diabolos. And now you can see very nicely, here, through this groove. No, I can't see anything at all. Just believe me. In reality, you can wonderfully see the Diabolos here, lined up like on a string of pearls. Thus, you can always check how many are already in or still in. So now comes the big moment. This should be the third, maybe even the fourth capsule that I have used up with this. And whether it is still not. This is a spring. This is a spring that wants to push the spring out, so you don't have to poke around to ever get back to it. I hold the barrel down because, you know, capsule should ideally be facing up when piercing. Yes. And we hear it in between. That's bad. That's really very, very bad. Uh, it's hissing more. That's even worse. This is the typical demonstration effect. Yes, Satan, one more. The screwdriver is magnetic. I can hardly get it into the groove here. That's scary, listen. You just have to turn it maliciously enough. Then it suddenly goes 2001. Well, back then, with the OB, somehow a tool was included. Now, if the microphone is here, I was just about to hold it for the camera. But now there is also silence here. Well, I'll pull again. That's why the strange position, posture, not holder. I'm pulling sideways along the barrel over this short distance through the scope. Otherwise, it goes elsewhere. Puff. That was it. So, tension, open. Now we can take a look at how it all works. That's actually the interesting part. And pay attention to the part here at the front end of this groove usen. I'll wait a moment. I'll turn this a bit. So now I'm tensing it. I don't think you can see it at all. And then this block comes out on the side with a hole that a Diabolo just happens to fit into. And when I move forward again, it goes back in, out, out, in. And basically, just like with the Expomatic back in 2001, it works here too only that it is driven differently. I find it technically very interesting. And as I said, I have had a lot of fun with this thing. Yes, got an ancient piece as a wreck. There are now many holes. That should be the 12 holes. Yes, it says there are 12 shots. And I say for such a recreational action pump, I have really seen worse. I have seen worse with air rifles had the word sniper in their name than this one, so we don't really want to complain. You can already tell, I got merchandise from the VDB. That's why there are VDB items lying around everywhere. You've probably seen it too, even on my big orange hands. I have one of these nice pins attached. I think I got a second one of a different kind. Become a member. Somehow I have to say this in every, in every video. Become a member. Yes. Costs three dollars a month. Really only three. Do I have to become a member again? No, seriously, really only three dollars a month. And for that, the topic of lobbying suddenly becomes interesting. And here it says, ultimately it comes down to the fact that the VDB not only has to say, hey, we exist, but they also have to say, hey, we represent so many millions of shooters, 2001. And that is the argument behind it. Moreover, lobbying unfortunately costs money. I don't mean bribes. But I mean, if you send two people somewhere to do lobbying, they have to travel, they have to stay in a hotel, they have to eat something. All of this costs money. Well, that was the first thing, the disc. As I said, I think it's good. Because I didn't expect that. 
Sure, this is not a Diana 75. One hole would be enough for that. Everyone would go through. This here is a leisure piece from ages ago. You can check when it was built at Muzzle DE, so Muzzle DE. You can actually find something about all old things there. I could imagine that if you look at vampires, something might come out of it too. So, again, some cookies that I don't need. Where? You send. What's new? Introducing session stats. Now you can easily find your session statistics on the profile page. So, secretly made some updates again that I know nothing about. Select profile. We have a gamo here, so you don't alternate El Gamo, but actually Gamo. Come on, move. Gamo, 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 G1200. So, shots. I said shots. I said shots. Too much oil on it. Let's use another finger. I've been here for a long time. I'm still typing, but am I already in this menu? My god. That's how it is when the cookie gets soft. Shot count. 27. At least 20. The device didn't measure it. Few shots. This is... Backwards. That means the last shots are displayed first. I don't know yet where to reverse the order. It can definitely be reversed. In any case, you can see that you start strong and then decline sharply. Use an... The variance is getting larger. But that is related to the fact that CO capsules not only come emptier, because the pressure actually remains the same with CO, at least up to a certain limit. They also get colder at the same time. That's the real problem, especially with the repeaters where you shoot quickly. At some point they are cold and then it looks bad. Height shots. What is a graph? Then we have here 4.8 joules, 4.9, 4.5, 4.9, 4.9, 4.7, 4.5, 4.8, 4.4, 4.6, 4.8, 4.2, 4 times 8. 4.4, 4.6, 4.8, 4.24. That doesn't sound like such a large dispersion. This graph is stretched out to make the most of the space. 4.8, 4.8, 4.8, 4.8, 4.8, 4.8, 4.8, 4.8, 4.8, 4.8, 4.8, 4.8, 4.8, 4.8, 4.8, 4.8, 4.8, 4.8, 4.8, 4.8, 4.8, 4.8, 4.8, 4.8, 4.8, 4.8, 4.8, 4.8, 4.8, 4.8, 4.8, 4.8, 4.8, 4.8, 4.8, 4.8, 4.8, 4.8, 4.8, 4.8, 4.8, 4.8, 4.8, 4.8, 4.8, 4.8, 4.8, 4.8, 4.8, 4.8, 4.8, 4.8, 4.8, 4.8, 4.8, 4.8, 4.8, 4.8, 4.8, 4.8, 4.8, 4.8, 4.8, 4.8, 4.8, 4.8, 4.8, 4.8, 4.8, 4.8, 4.8, 4.8, 4.8, 4.8, 4.8, 4.8, 4.8, 4.8, 4.8, 4.8, 4.8, 4.8, 4.8, 4.8, 4.8, 4.8, 4.8, 4.8, 4.8, 4.8, 4.8, 4.8, 4.8, 4.8, 4.8, 4.8, 4.8, 4.8, 4.8, 4.8, 4.8, 4.8, 4.8, 4.8, 4.8, 4.8, 4.8, 4.8, 4.8, 4.8, 4.8, 4.8, 4.8, 4.8, 4.8, 4.8, 4.8, 4.8, 4.8, 4.8, 4.8, 4.8, 4.8, 4.8, 4.8, 4.8, 4.8, 4.8, 4.8, 4.8, 4.8, 4.8, 4.8, 4.8, 4.8, 4.8, 4.8, 4.8, 4.8, 4.8, 4.8, 4.8, 4.8, 4.8, 4.8, 4.8, 4.8, 4.8, 4.8, 4.8, 4.8, 4.8, 4.8, 4.8, 4.8, 4.8, 4.8, 4.8, 4.8, 4.8, 4.8, 4.8, 4.8, 4.8, 4.8, 4.8, 4.8, 4.8, 4.8, 4.8, 4.8, 4.8, 4.8, 4.8, 4.8, 4.8, 4.8, 4.8, 4.8, 4.8, 4.8, 4.8, 4.8, 4.8, 4.8, 4.8, 4.8, 4.8, 4.8, 4.8, 4.8, 4.8, 4.8, 4.8, 4.8, 4.8, 4.8, 4.8, 4.8, 4.8, 4.8, 4.8, 4.8, 4.8, 4.8, 4.8, 4.8, 4.8, 4.8, 4.8, 4.8, 4.8, 4.8, 4.8, 4.8, 4.8, 4.8, 4.8, 4.8, 4.8, 4.8, 4.8, 4.8, 4.8, 4.8, 4.8, 4.8, 4.8, 4.8, 4.8, 4.8, 4.8, 4.8, 4.8, 4.8, 4.8, 4.8, 4.8, 4.8, 4.8, 4.8, 4.8, 4.8, 4.8, 4.8, 4.8, 4.8, 4.8, 4.8, 4.8, 4.8, 4.8, 4.8, 4.8, 4.8, 4.8, 4.8, 4.8, 4.8, 4.8, 4.8, 4.8, 4.8, 4.8, 4.8, 4.8, 4.8, 4.8, 4.8, 4.8, 4.8, 4.8, 4.8, 4.8, 4.8, 4.8, 4.8, 4.8, 4.8, 4.8, 4.8, 4.8, 4.8, 4.8, 4.8, 4.8, 4.8, 4.8, 4.8, 4.8, 4.8, 4.8, 4.8, 4.8, 4.8, 4.8, 4.8, 4.8, 4.8, 4.8, 4.8, 4.8, 4.8, 4.8, 4.8, 4.8, 4.8, 4.8, 4.8, 4.8, 4.8, 4.8, 4.8, 4.8, 4.8, 4.8, 4.8, 4.8, 4.8, 4.8, 4.8, 4.8, 4.8, 4.8, 4.8, 4.8, 4.8, 4.8, 4.8, 4.8, 4.8, 4.8, 4.8, 4.8, 4.8, 4.8, 4.8, 4.8, 4.8, 4.8, 4.8, 4.8, 4.8, 4.8, 4.8, 4.8, 4.8, 4.8, 4.8, 4.8, 4.8, 4.8, 4.8, 4.8, 4.8, 4.8, 4.8, 4.8, 4.8, 4.8, 4.8, 4.8, 4.8, 4.8, 4.8, 4.8, 4.8, 4.8, 4.8, 4.8, 4.8, 4.8, 4.8, 4.8, 4.8, 4.8, 4.8, 4.8, 4.8, 4.8, 4.8, 4.8, 4.8, 4.8, 4.8, 4.8, 4.8, 4.8, 4.8, 4.8, 4.8, 4.8, 4.8, 4.8, 4.8, 4.8, 4.8, 4.8, 4.8, 4.8, 4.8, 4.8, 4.8, 4.8, 4.8, 4.8, 4.8, 4.8, 4.8, 4.8, 4.8, 4.8, 4.8, 4.8, 4.8, 4.8, 4.8, 4.8, 4.8, 4.8, 4.8, 4.8, 4.8, 4.8, 4.8, 4.8, 4.8, 4.8, 4.8, 4.8, 4.8, 4.8, 4.8, 4.8, 4.8, 4.8, 4.8, 4.8, 4.8, 4.8, 4.8, 4.8, 4.8, 4.8, 4.8, 4.8, 4.8, 4.8, 4.8, 4.8, 4.8, 4.8, 4.8, 4.8, 4.8, 4.8, 4.8, 4.8, 4.8, 4.8, 4.8, 4.8, 4.8, 4.8, 4.8, 4.8, 4.8, 4.8, 4.8, 4.8, 4.8, 4.8, 4.8, 4.8, 4.8, 4.8, 4.8, 4.8, 4.8, 4.8, 4.8, 4.8, 4.8, 4.8, 4.8, 4.8, 4.8, 4.8, 4.8, 4.8, 4.8, 4.8, 4.8, 4.8, 4.8, 4.8, 4.8, 4.8, 4.8, 4.8, 4.8, 4.8, 4.8, 4.8, 4.8, 4.8, 4.8, 4.8, 4.8, 4.8, 4.8, 4.8, 4.8, 4.8, 4.8, 4.8, 4.8, 4.8, 4.8, 4.8, 4.8, 4.8, 4.8, 4.8, 4.8, 4.8, 4.8, 4.8, 4.8, 4.8, 4.8, 4.8, 4.8, 4.8, 4.8, 4.8, 4.8, 4.8, 4.8, 4.8, 4.8, 4.8, 4.8, 4.8, 4.8, 4.8, 4.8, 4.8, 4.8, 4.8, 4.8, 4.8, 4.8, 4.8, 4.8, 4.8, 4.8, 4.8, 4.8, 4.8, 4.8, 4.8, 4.8, 4.8, 4.8, 4.8, 4.8, 4.8, 4.8, 4.8, 4.8, 4.8, 4.8, 4.8, 4.8, 4.8, 4.8, 4.8, 4.8, 4.8, 4.8, 4.8, 4.8, 4.8, 4.8, 4.8, 4.8, 4.8, 4.8, 4.8, 4.8, 4.8, 4.8, 4.8, 4.8, 4.8, 4.8, 4.8, 4.8, 4.8, 4.8, 4.8, 4.8, 4.8, 4.8, 4.8, 4.8, 4.8, 4.8, 4.8, 4.8, 4.8, 4.8, 4.8, 4.8, 4.8, 4.8, 4.8, 4.8, 4.8, 4.8, 4.8, 4.8, 4.8, 4.8, 4.8, 4.8, 4.8, 4.8, 4.8, 4.8, 4.8, 4.8, 4.8, 4.8, 4.8, 4.8, 4.8, 4.8, 4.8, 4.8, 4.8, 4.8, 4.8, 4.8, 4.8, 4.8, 4.8, 4.8, 4.8, 4.8, 4.8, 4.8, 4.8, 4.8, 4.8, 4.8, 4.8, 4.8, 4.8, 4.8, 4.8, 4.8, 4.8, 4.8, 4.8, 4.8, 4.8, 4.8, 4.8, 4.8, 4.8, 4.8, 4.8, 4.8, 4.8, 4.8, 4.8, 4.8, 4.8, 4.8, 4.8, 4.8, 4.8, 4.8, 4.8, 4.8, 4.8, 4.8, 4.8, 4.8, 4.8, 4.8, 4.8, 4.8, 4.8, 4.8, 4.8, 4.8, 4.8, 4.8, 4.8, 4.8, 4.8, 4.8, 4.8, 4.8, 4.8, 4.8, 4.8, 4.8, 4.8, 4.8, 4.8, 4.8, 4.8, 4.8, 4.8, 4.8, 4.8, 4.8, 4.8, 4.8, 4.8, 4.8, 4.8, 4.8, 4.8, 4.8, 4.8, 4.8, 4.8, 4.8, 4.8, 4.8, 4.8, 4.8, 4.8, 4.8, 4.8, 4.8, 4.8, 4.8, 4.8, 4.8, 4.8, 4.8, 4.8, 4.8, 4.8, 4.8, 4.8, 4.8, 4.8, 4.8, 4.8, 4.8, 4.8, 4.8, 4.8, 4.8, 4.8, 4.8, 4.8, 4.8, 4.8, 4.8, 4.8, 4.8, 4.8, 4.8, 4.8, 4.8, 4.8, 4.8, 4.8
booster aid tool with the magnetic front part. It always gives off a strange smell when it fires. So not just with this one, but with all CO2 guns. This, the CO, it comes out. It always has a very peculiar smell that I can't really categorize with anything else. Feel free to comment if it's the same for you. The 2001 spring capsule comes out by itself. Through the doubts. So, that was it. Yes, then we will take a look. It's just a fun thing. It is relatively rare, so I believe I haven't found any videos about it in German here either. That doesn't mean there aren't any. I usually search rather superficially, because I really don't feel like searching forever. Yes, I'll hold the merchandise items a bit in front of the camera, just for fun, because I think they are great. You can take a look at the still image at your leisure. I have more, don't worry. This is not everything. There are a few other designs. It is simply made available to you. I think that's good. You can also write with it. It's big enough. You can read later. Lower my videos. That means I've actually been making my videos only in 25 frames per second. 720p. For a long time now. I believe. Just something. Because people have been watching on their phones for ages. You don't need K for God's sake. The calculation of the videos is about four times faster. The size of the video is four times smaller and so on. So I only see advantages there, except when I make moving images. I might be inclined to increase the resolution to 50 frames per second, because when you move vigorously, 25 frames can really shake quite a bit. So that was it. That was completely finished. Shocking. Then I would say, I'll complain a bit more that I am the man who has his wooden grips for the 2240. That's the info. Who has to turn off his camera all by himself because I have no minions, no crew, and no post-production stuff? I have to do everything myself. Yes. That's actually enough. Just to entertain you here. Thanks for watching. Says, as always, the man who has to turn off his camera. All by himself. Bye.